In this video, I'm gonna give you five tips and pointers that I think can help you to stop wasting money on comics today. And I want to encourage you to stay tuned until the end of the video because I'll drop in some additional tips and pointers. If you are not following the channel yet, I want to encourage you to do so. With that said, let's get to the list. Reggie here and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. In this video, I'm going to give you five practical tips and pointers that you can implement today in an effort to stop wasting money. And some of these tips will be for graded books, some will be for raw books, and some are a little bit in between. But generally speaking, I think that what I'll offer up will be helpful to a lot of collectors out there. And I definitely want to encourage you to leave your additional tips and pointers behind in the comment section because I think that we can all learn from one another. The very first tip that I wanna hit on is this idea of CPR. I think that CPR can be a waste of money. And if you don't know what CPR is, that's okay. It stands for crack, press, and resubmit. This is a trend in the comic book community where people get books graded. They don't necessarily like the grade or agree with the grade. They will crack the book out of the slab. They will resubmit it to have that book pressed and then regrade it with the hope that they can actually get a higher grade. In theory, this sounds like a really good idea, but it could also be a huge waste of money. The reason that I say that is because blindly doing this, blindly doing anything generally can be a waste of money. But I know a lot of people that will send in modern books, they will get a 9.6 and they will feel that the book should get a 9.8 and they don't actually take the time to carefully and objectively examine the book before cracking it and resubmitting it. And so my recommendation is that if this does indeed happen to you, that you take the time to examine the book through the plastic and ask yourself if there are any defects that are present that potentially resulted in that book getting something less than a 9.8. I can tell you for a fact that I can look through the plastic and I can see the defect that is present. Whether I wanted to see it the first time or not, it is there. But by not examining the book and blindly resubmitting the book, you could be wasting a ton of money and also technically a ton of time. It is not cheap to send books to be graded. And it really doesn't matter which grading company you're using, it's not free, right? And it also takes time, especially if you're using CGC or CBCS, the turnaround times are significant. And so if you're going to CPR a book, you want to make sure that you're honestly evaluating that book before doing so. And truth be told, if you back all the way up to the beginning, before you even submit a book, you want to make sure that you take the time to examine that book carefully before sending it in. And if you truly believe that the books that you are sending are 9.8 worthy, you should put a pre-screen in place, a 9.8 pre-screen. That will prevent them from grading any book that is less than a 9.8. And yes, you will pay something, but what you pay for them to return a book ungraded is a lot less than what it will cost to get that book graded and certainly a lot less than to get that book regraded a second time. So again, a great tip that I think will save you a lot of money and hopefully prevent you from wasting money. The second tip that I want to offer up is to avoid overstuffing your comic book bins. And I say that this can stop you from wasting money because if you overpack your bins, you will essentially be pressing defects into your comics from pressure, from the pressure of one book, pressing into another, into another, and then you having to get those books pressed in order to remove those defects. It also prevents you from wasting money in the sense that you're damaging your comics. And so simply buying an extra bin or two, I think is a worthwhile investment to prevent you from damaging potentially an entire bin worth of comics. And yes, bins are expensive, but in the long run, they are less expensive than what I just mentioned. The next tip that I want to offer up will absolutely save you money. No matter how you look at it, this tip is going to help you to stop wasting money. And it doesn't matter whether you're selling comics 
or buying comics, you absolutely need access to sales data. You need to know what the going rate or the going value is for a comic that you intend to buy or you intend to sell. Without having access to data, you are either going to pay too much for a book or you're going to sell a book below its value. No matter how you slice it, you're going to be wasting money. So you definitely want to get some access to data. And to me, it doesn't matter whether you're using something like eBay sold listings or a paid service, you need information. Now, I personally do not use eBay sold items. I prefer an actual pricing service because the data aggregators that are out there are pulling data from multiple sources. They're scrubbing that data, they're cleaning it up, and they're presenting it back to you in a streamlined way that allows you to see the trends, see the value, see how this book is performing over time, which allows you to determine how much you should pay or how much you should sell a book for. Get access to the data before you buy or sell. The next thing that I want to hit on is CPR. And yes, I talked about crack, press, and resubmit earlier, but I'm going to talk about it in a different way now. There was a trend where people were cracking, pressing, and resubmitting books from one grading company to another grading company and sometimes to additional grading companies in an attempt to test the quality of the grading companies that are out there. This is a waste of money. This is a huge waste of money. It is impossible for you to send a single book from one grading company to other grading companies to test their grading. It does not work that way. In order to really measure the effectiveness or the ability of a grading company to grade and then be able to draw comparisons between that grading company and another, you need a large sample size. You need a large sample size to be able to evaluate across ages, over time, whatever factor you want to use. One book is not the answer. Two books is not the answer. But there was a trend in the community where everybody was doing this. It is a huge waste of money. Do not do this. Do not do it. You're not going to learn anything. And maybe you'll create a video that maybe a couple of people will watch. But it's just a waste of money. That's my opinion. So the last and final tip that I want to offer up is to avoid emotional buying. And this is easier said than done. I absolutely get it. But I can tell you from experience that I don't do well with auctions. I know this for a fact. I don't make good decisions when it comes to auctions. And you potentially might be the same way. And so if you're being rushed to make a purchase on a platform or as part of an auction and you're not thinking clearly about that decision, you're not being able to refer to a, a pricing service, you're not able to really evaluate the condition of that comic, you're probably not going to have a good outcome as a result of pulling that trigger. The same can be said if you're in a low, if you're not having a very good day and maybe you're in a little bit of a depressive state trying to buy your way out of that negative emotion might not be a good thing. That might not result in a positive outcome. And either one of these things, either the highs or the lows could potentially result in you wasting money. And potentially the best thing to do is to walk away from the, the phone or the computer, to walk away from the auction, to let it get by you so that you can get yourself together and make some more informed decisions. So with that said, I want to go ahead and wrap up this video. But before I do so, I want to hit on a few additional points going back to CPR, crack, press and resubmit. So I am not a fan of this practice, as I mentioned, for the reasons of wasting money, but also it leads to inaccuracies of the census. If someone is CPR in a book over and over to get a better grade or CPR in a book from one grading company to another grading company, it results in a census count that is less than accurate. And depending upon how often people engage in this activity, it could throw the census count off dramatically. And there are a lot of people out there that make purchasing decisions and valuations of books based upon census counts. And so CPR wastes money, but it also can 
jack up the census count, which also might waste money as well. It gives people a false impression of what's going on with the census for a specific book. So that is just one additional tip that I wanted to offer up. And as I mentioned at the start of the video, if you have some additional tips and pointers that you wanna offer up, be certain to leave those down in the comment section. And if you are not yet following the channel, I want to invite you to do so now. Just tap that button, turn on notifications, and that way you won't miss out on any of the content. Lastly, if you have not picked up a copy of Isolation Issue Number 2, I want to encourage you to do that now on ReggieCollects.com. If you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so on Instagram at ReggieCollects. Take care. Rolling, rolling, rolling.